Hi everyone, it's Terry. Today I'm going to talk to you about three apps that are available for the Luminaire. Now, not all of these apps will work unless you have a Luminaire 2 or you have the upgrades for a Luminaire 1, and I'll explain that to you. I'll go to the App Store, and the first thing I'm going to do is search for Brother. So when I search for Brother, I'll see several apps for Brother. The one that I know that I'm interested in is the Brother Support Center. This is available in a portrait mode. And what you need to do is, if you are setting it up the first time, is select your machine. So you would go into Home Sewing. You would note, uh, locate, you would locate Innovus XP and select your machine. If you have an Innovus XP1 with upgrades, you need to select it. If you have an XP2, select that. Now you'll notice there are several categories. I won't go through all of them, but I'll highlight a couple of things about them and tell you why I find it helpful. Under videos, if you're a new owner, being able to go through these tutorials on your tablet is nice because let's say like me my sewing room is upstairs if I was trying to learn something let's say about the projector it'll take me to the brother support sewing page and there are several videos that are here now you will not have audio with these because they record these for multiple countries we'll just go ahead and back up And you'll notice you can actually access your manuals here. We'll go back a step though or two and we'll go to manuals. This is where you can download your different manuals. It's also where you can download an update, for instance, for your machine. So if I went to downloads here, I could see the most recent update, and I'll choose for the Windows, and I have Windows 10, and choose OK, that it is version 3.05, and that version was released on September the 24, 2020. Now, you have to select that and let it start through the download process so you can read what's included, and I really don't want to do that at this time. So, let's just go back a step. We'll go back in manuals. Let's say I want to download one of the USB media compatible lists. I can choose download, and when I do this, typically what I do when I download something, I save it in books. So I'll go to the arrow at the upper right corner, scroll across on my iPad, choose books, and then what happens is it saves that file in my book, this accessory catalog that I downloaded previously. And let's say that what I want to search for is a ruffler foot. So I choose ruffler. It gives me an entire list. I know I want English, so let me select that. And here's the ruffler foot for our machine. You'll also notice that it gives you the QR code, so it'll take you directly to Brother's page. We'll go ahead and back up. So we want to back up in Safari because we opened up Safari with this and I need to go back to my support center pages and choose the back arrow. Now you also have facts and troubleshooting. You can scroll through here if you want to have how to information, let's say on maintenance and maintenance messages and let's say that you get this message. This will tell you what it means. It means you need to take your machine in to your dealer to have the annual maintenance. Typically, you want to take your machine in every year to have it clean because these machines are sealed. We don't lubricate them. All right, the next thing that you'll notice is you have ex accessories. So you can also search for accessories here, and I'll let you do that on your own. 
you have combination of fabric and thread. Now, I think this is very helpful. If you're not sure what combination to use, let's say for knit, and let's say that you're working with a t-shirt fabric, it's going to tell you the type of thread you should use, the type of needle you should use, and then you need to set your stitch length at an appropriate length for your fabric thickness. So I think this is very helpful and it will go through and guide you based upon the weight of that fabric. Then you have Contact Us and Contact Us takes you to Brother Support. Make sure that you register your machine under product registration. That way if you happen to create a help ticket it will stay with the record of your machine and you can log in to your registration and you can see where you contacted brother. So again, what we're looking at right now are, is the app and that is the Brother Support Center app. Now we're going to go to the next app. The next app we're going to look at is My Design Snap. My Design Snap only works with an XP2 or a machine that is an XP1 that happens to have a great kit too. And right now you see that it's saying that there's not a supported machine. Let me make sure that my machine is turned on. Okay, you can see that it's located in my machine. And once it's located in my machine, all I need to do is select it. And now what I can use is this feature that's right here, the select image for pattern editing. And I have separate videos that I'll link into this particular video that shows you how to use this function. I won't go into it here. These other options here are for those machines that don't have the built-in camera and projector like the Stellar. So let's go ahead and go back to the App Store. And let's look at the last app that we have for our machine. And that is Brother My Stitch Monitor. Now you need to have Upgrade Kit 1 on an XB1 or you need to have an XP2 machine in order to use this. So it's not connecting with my machine. Let me try connecting again. You can see it's now connected. And I don't have any embroidery on my machine right now, but if I did, I could monitor it. I could look at the thread color list. If you want to know what's included in an app, you can always scroll through that particular app at the App Store so you can see the screens that you have for that particular app. And you can see, for instance, a preview of a design here. Let me open it up. This is what you would see. You would see the color list. You'll see the thread list. And then you also need to make sure that you have your machine set up for Wi-Fi so you have that connectivity. In my house, because my machine's upstairs, when I'm downstairs, it'll tell me that it's completed embroidery. It'll tell me when I need to change my threads, and I can attend to it. I hope these videos are helpful to you. I'm Terry Maffitt. Look for me in Facebook and Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire group, and you'll also find me under YouTube under my name, Terry Maffitt. Thank you very much and have a great day.